It's 8 o'clock on the 30th of January 2015, and in a few moments, participants will join us for the workshop on the completion of the internal energy market. Why this workshop? For many years, we've been working towards the construction of a single European energy market, both for electricity and for gas. And progress has been achieved both in the ground, on the ground and in room making. The Council back in 2011 set 2014 for the, uh, as a target date for the completion of this market. On the ground, as of May last year, 75% of, of the energy consumed by European, um, European energy consumer is actually traded through a single pricing algorithm that stretches from uh, the Strait of Gibraltar to the Barents Sea. In gas, uh, platforms are uh, allocating capacity on cross-border interconnectors on a larger number of borders. But in other areas, progress has not been as encouraging. Uh, we are still behind track on the intraday market, on the integration of intraday markets for electricity in Europe, and liquidity on many gas hubs in many jurisdictions is still um, insufficient. So there is more work to be done, clearly, and we are here today to discuss how we've done so far, what progress has been achieved, but I think more importantly, what needs to do next so that we can um, soon deliver to European energy consumers the tangible benefits of the internal market that they deserve. The workshop will be divided into three sessions. Um, the first one will look at um, consumers. Um, we will ask them what were their expectations about the internal energy market and to what extent their expectations have been met. Uh, we should never forget that we're, all, we're doing this all uh, for consumers. We're not doing it for regulators, we're not doing it for energy companies, for transmission system operators. We're trying to deliver through the internal market more choice and better prices for consumers. The second and third sessions then will look at how progress has been achieved and what the next priorities are for the electricity and the gas sectors specifically. And here we will have stakeholders, we will have uh, system operators, uh, we will have regulators discussing um, how uh, to uh, deliver the full benefit to consumers, but seeing from, a, from the supply side, from uh, um, the setting uh, in place uh, appropriate regulatory measures and uh, uh, try to uh, promote competition both at wholesale level, and I think we are doing quite well there already at the moment, but more importantly, how can we deliver the same level of competition and the same benefits uh, to final consumers. So uh, that's the structure and I'm sure that the debate will be uh, extremely interesting because as I mentioned, um, now we are at the crucial time where the rules have been passed, uh, progress has been made on the ground, but there is still work to be done. Well, basically, industrial consumers throughout Europe uh, expect from the market liberalization process that uh, two things. The first place, that uh, industrial prices become competitive uh, for European consumers, and second, that security of supply is improved. Now, unfortunately, until now, uh, we don't have that result. Uh, we see that there's a lot of interference with other aspects of, of, of climate policy, of energy policy, like the development of renewables, like the, uh, re the, the obligatory reduction in uh, CO2 emissions. And so we hope to, uh, to get to our goals very soon uh, by putting in place as soon as possible the target model and not deviating too much from that, uh, for instance, by putting in place uh, capacity mechanisms. So the target model should, in the first place, do the job and then the rest of the, of the policy should follow and make Europe again an interesting continent to invest in for industrial consumers. We are here today to discuss the progress towards uh, creating an internal energy market and how or if it delivers to consumers. Um, although we can see uh, some improvements, uh, the truth is that we are still a long way off a true internal uh, energy market. For instance, the consumer should have the right uh, to participate in a market where there is a significant number of competitors, which is not always the case. And therefore, together with our members, uh, national consumer organizations, we have been calling for uh, urgent implementation of internal energy market legislation for several years now. 
As uh, the European Consumer Organization, uh, we believe that all European consumers should have access to secure, reliable, affordable and sustainable energy. We need healthy competition, uh, which delivers uh, affordable and fair prices. We need a market, internal energy market, which is built on integrity and transparency. And we need that markets are designed in a way that consumers find them easy to navigate and comparing offers available on the market are not just a time-consuming exercise. There are still many challenges ahead and I would like to thank the Florence School of Regulation for organizing this workshop and discuss all these challenges. At the same time, uh, we need policymakers, both at European and national level, together with energy regulators and other stakeholders to step up the effort and create a consumer-centric uh, internal energy market because only in such a way consumers will trust and engage in the market. So, good morning. I'm here today to provide market participants with an overview of the state of play regarding the, the internal electricity market. Uh, unfortunately, there is still a long way to go before claiming that we have completed the internal electricity market. We expect a lot of uh, improvement regarding the network code adoption. We expect that this year we'll have uh, many network code adopted. Uh, while we made a lot of effort to through the earlier implementation process to make concrete achievements uh, in the implementation of the target model, there is still, and we made uh, a big achievement with the day and market coupling uh, process, there is still also uh, a lot of uh, improvement to be made in order to, to impl implement this target model. The implementation of this target model will be the top priority for the agency uh, for the next uh, following years. The second priority will be to, to make sure that we have the appropriate infrastructures, transmission infrastructure uh, in Europe to support this uh, development of, of cross-border trade. And three last challenges I see for the near future is to break the vicious uh, circle of political intervention, which create market distortion and give rise to, to, to additional political intervention. The corollary of this uh, is the try to trust, to gain confidence, regain confidence in the, in the market, in the ability of market to provide the, the efficient signals. And last but not least, to, uh, to, 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 to discuss to which extent we, we could uh, uh, improve the governance arrange, uh, arrangement in order to, to foster, to streamline the decision-making process at NRS level, TSO's level, but also at power exchange level. From the electricity industry points of view, it is very important that the European internal energy market will be implemented very, very soon. This is uh, what we have in our mind very much. This is our highest priority. Of course, therefore, we want the uh, tr uh, term of Euro energy union, European energy union, we want this to be used for uh, the leaders of the European member states to reinforce their commitment to the internal market that would be very important. For our customers, uh, the priority is that uh, taxes and levies that are uh, added to the electricity prices will be, uh, will be lower in the future because we think that our customers should pay fair prices for electricity and the electricity price should not be overboarded by other charges. So uh, finalization of uh, internal electricity market has very high uh, priorities uh, now at NCOE. Uh, basically, we see priorities in the short term on finalization of uh, the target model. Uh, and here, of course, one of the biggest challenge uh, is uh, intraday markets, uh, get, getting the very short term markets uh, really up and running on European scale. Second priority, uh, as we see it, is uh, um, full integration of renewables into the markets, meaning specifically uh, taking over balancing responsibility as all other producing companies as well, as well as demand side response. And the third short-term priority should focus on adequacy, so monitoring and looking at what the real system's needs are uh, and doing these kind of things more on a regional scale. Having said that, in the mid-term uh, we see need, of course, as well for hedge products uh, to hedge for potential uh, adequacy 
uh, bottlenecks, adequacy, challenges which might occur. So these basically are uh, the priorities within ENSOE in order to get internal uh, electricity market uh, improved and up and running. My speech today will focus on the successful launch of the day ahead market coupling throughout Europe and how we are able in a way to uh, continue to uh, develop this and the new countries in the area and the governance structure around this that has made this successful. And I will also focus on the intraday market and perhaps the lack of progress and try to uh, give a picture of why we have struggling with have a progress on this compared to what we had on the day ahead. We focus on equal treatment, on the governance structure of the market and put it in a way compared to what is now coming up with the new CACM regulation and how we will be able to implement both the day ahead and the intraday into the CACM framework. My name is Dennis Hesseling. I work for Acer as head of the gas department. Um, when it comes to the internal gas market, I think we've made pretty good progress over the last years. Um, even though it is a bit uh, different in different parts of Europe. Uh, if you look at northwestern Europe, there we see um, hubs which are well established with good price formation and people have trust in those prices, not only on the spot but also uh, for future and they're well correlated. In other parts of Europe, in particular in South East Europe, this is much more difficult and is much more needed to make it work there as well. Going forward, we have uh, identified a number of measures in the gas target model paper, um, and one of them is focused on regional market integration. We think that some of the market areas may actually be too small in their current setup, and if that's the case, then we encourage the national regulators to get together with the relevant neighbors to see if they can integrate their markets and create a larger market area which will have a better and more predictable price formation. My name is Vittorio Musazzi, I'm the general manager of ENSOG. Today I'm here in the Florence School of Regulation in order to discuss about the implementation of the internal energy market. In uh, ENSOG opinion, the most important thing for, the, for reaching the internal market is the implementation of the network codes, is the uh, working all together in order to check all uh, the con con consistency of all the network codes and to finalize the activity all over Europe in order to reach a common internal gas market.